hear me out. Actually, don't just hear me out. Watch this clip real quick. Peter. Peter, what's wrong? Peter, are you all right? Peter, what are you doing, man? That scene to me represents exactly what it's like or the feeling or the experience of having a PTSD attack just out of nowhere. And I would further say that's what an anxiety attack feels like or that's what a panic attack feels like is it takes you out of your current element and you're somewhere else completely. My attacks don't look totally like that. Usually my attacks, it really happens in my neck. I notice like like my neck, my head kind of kicks back and my neck starts straining and it's hard for me to speak or anything. Sometimes when I've experienced heavy anxiety attacks, what it feels like to me is being in the middle of the ocean at night, it's pitch dark, and you're in the middle of a hurricane. There are waves, towering waves above you. And you just woke up from a nap. Like let's just say you just woke up from a nap and now you're experiencing the highest terror of your life. And you're in a little raft. You're in a little boat. And you're experiencing a hurricane. And you're in the middle of the ocean. And there's no one else around. Actually, let's make matters worse. Let's say you have a small child with you. Let's say you have your dog with you or your pet. Now you're holding on for dear life, not only for yourself, but for your loved one. And you know it's not going to end well. That to me is what an anxiety attack feels like. There's no help. There's no way out. And you're just white knuckling through it, holding on for dear life. However, I have found getting through this, something that has helped are grounding techniques. So let's just say you're experiencing this currently and you can't shake it. Um, if you have a friend, if you have a therapist or someone to talk to, awesome. Chances are you might not. <laughs> But something that has greatly helped me is being able to ride that wave. Like if I'm, in, if I'm at home, if I'm in the privacy of my own home, I can just ride that wave. But if I'm wanting to get out of that attack, I have to pay attention to what is currently around me. I can touch this and I can kind of ground myself and bring myself back to the present moment where I currently am. Um, but this is tricky. Um, but if you have gone through this and you have if this is a thing for you like it's a thing for me uh unfortunately um hi my name is sarah i was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder by two different doctors um medicine can obviously help grounding techniques having someone to talk to if you have medication awesome if you don't i feel for you um <laughs> also if i if i want to try to get out of something like this I will, one, talk to someone. That's the, that's the fastest way to get out of that, is like letting someone in. But two, if you don't have anyone around you or you're, if you're doing this on your own, like grounding techniques, grounding techniques. If you can feel, if you can smell a candle or smell, like, you know what I mean? Like tune into your senses as quickly as possible and ground yourself into the present moment so that you realize you're safe and you're not in a threatening spot. You know what I mean? And that's what's helped me. I would love to hear from you guys if you've also experienced panic attacks or PTSD attacks, anxiety attacks. Also, I'd love to know how you guys articulate those attacks. Like, how do they make you feel? Let me know in the comments.